see my family in Kansas in, in the late June, early July. And so not only do you deal with this, you deal with the humidity too. And so uh, <laughs> that was a good training crowd. Coach, in, in the spring, you talked about the, uh, the four JUCO defensive backs, Shimon Moore, Isom, Langford, and uh, Beekman. Mm -hmm. You said that they were making strides, but they weren't ready yet. Has, that has your opinion changed now no. five days into camp? They're not ready yet. <laughs> you know, is it, uh, and, and they're not, but they don't have to be today. We still got 20 practices to go. They've made great progress. There's no, no doubt they're a lot better than they were, but it's just that, you know, back there, when you make a mistake, it's points, you know, and unlike a young D lineman not getting in the right gap or something like that, it's 10, 15 yards. You know? So we got to get to where we don't get up those big plays. And, you know, on, on the four junior colleges, you know, I hope everybody understands that the January that I was hired, the previous signing date in December <laughs> of, um, who that been, uh, 17, I think, is that I think they signed four DBs and not one of those four DBs is still on their roster. You know, so you lose the entire class of DBs. We had to bring in some junior college kids. And uh, most, a lot of the guys on defense had connections in junior college. I'm very pleased where those kids are. They're not game ready yet, but they're a lot closer than where they were in, in the fall. All those guys are between six feet, six foot three. Was that something you intentionally were looking for? It's some height and length? Yeah, I think you try to stay as close to, uh, to six foot, but you know, sometimes is that, uh, I think the reasons we've been good is, is that I will take somebody who can get out of a break and run rather than somebody just because of their size. And, and uh, so um, Mark Strong's off a good player and he's not a six foot tall player, you know? And, and uh, so, yeah, you, you know, you get the big receivers and that, but you, you go around, there ain't very many corners, six three, six four, or pat size, you know, it can change direction, all that. So, uh, but uh, yeah, we've been good six foot, you know, as me, I'm as close to six foot as you can get. So right now on the other side of uh, the defense, you got Langford, uh, ticking reps with one and yeah. then uh, Hicks with the twos yeah. uh, and you say you know the Juco guys aren't ready are you just kind of trying to see what he can do out there with the ones or no, it's, it's, it's a uh, it's a you know it's I guess the the fancy name for it's a living document that position depth chart is so whoever performs well one day is going to play the next with whatever group and it'll be that week through the season too you know you're going to earn your job each week and, and uh, if you have a I mean, you have a bad week in practice getting ready, and the, and the guy behind you has done a better job. He's going to start, you know. Is it? Uh, it I think the, the thing is, and, and everybody knows this, but competition makes everybody better, and, and there's a winner and loser every day. Whatever you do in athletics, there's a winner and loser every day. It's, it seems like Langford, you, you guys, seem, it seems like you guys like him at cornerback, and Beekman, you guys like him at safety. Is Isom and, and Moore, or Shimon Moore, do they have firm positions yet, or are they still kind of – roaming around the, the secondary trying to find like a more permanent home. No, no, Dan's going to play at safety. You know, how that'll all work out between the, the two safeties in the nickel, I don't know. But Dan's going to play at safety and, and uh, who else did you ask? Shimon him? Moore. Yeah, he, we, we moved him to corner yesterday and that, that's more his natural position. He's had two really good days for just being there two days. So that's more his, his natural position. So uh, it'll probably take us through 10 practices. We don't have to decide anything final of where people are going to start out until the 10th practice. And so uh, by then, we'll we'll have it figured out. You said it's, it's rare to bring in four DBs at the same time from, from JUCO. Is it, is it, would it be even more rare to have three of those four start? Have, have you ever seen three? No, if you do a good job recruiting. You know, I mean, that's what it comes down to on connections. And, and you know, junior colleges are they're a great thing. I got a lot of great friends that coach in junior college. And hey, some kids come up a little short of grades. Maybe somebody didn't get an offer that they were expecting and decided, hey, I'll go to junior college. and and uh, you know, have two years and develop and, and get a better offer, you know. So, uh, so no, you know, is that that's what you recruit them for to bring them in here. And uh, so our guys that recruit them, I think, did a very good job of evaluating those guys. If you look at the defense of where they were last year at this time, what's the potential of this year's defense? Just uh, I wish it'd be just as good. I mean, really better. You know, I don't you need to get better or worse. I think we got an opportunity to be better. We got some kids get better. Uh, we got to play better in the red zone, and uh, so far in camp we have. Now again, it's just the beginning, and and uh, and me thing. But so far we have competed awfully well in the red zone, and then um, you know we've got to do a better job stopping the run. Uh, and, and still, I mean, I don't know. Somebody somebody put some 
crazy run efficiency thing. I don't know what the hell that is, okay, quite frankly. But let's say we were 103rd or something, you know, I don't know what the hell that is. You know, I know that in the running defense, I don't know, we were somewhere around 50 or something in the middle of the thing, and, and that's not good enough. we got to be better than that. And uh, so uh, we are. We're committing some time all through fall camp uh, on some of that stuff. And in the mornings, our walkthroughs have been uh, – mainly run defense oriented stuff and then when we come out here with with coach obviously we get to work on the passes have Talking you been about the red zone defense justice rogers pretty disruptive <clears throat> at the goal line he did today yeah yeah he made a couple plays and is it sherm had a couple yesterday he should have intercepted some and and uh, so we you know we're dropping a few balls we got to catch the ball a little bit there i think we've had a chance now at five of them that, that we've dropped that we were in position to but uh but uh, yeah yeah I, that's the one Posy for us so far. We've competed well uh, down in the red zone. Have you been impressed with the way your defense has responded? Kind of the surprise departure of Jalen Thompson in terms of leadership side and got different guys stepping up. It's kind of seemed like Jalen, though he wasn't as vocal as Peyton or anything like that, but he was kind of the next guy to step up as a big leader for this defense. Here's the hardest thing to replace from Jalen is that uh, is I've never had a player that practiced as hard as he did every day. It didn't matter what we were wearing. He came every day ready to practice. And that everybody has a bad day every now and then. Not Jalen. Okay. I mean he so that's that's the thing. But those kids that played with him, they they see him and Skyler's done a great job with that. Marcus Strong's done a great job with that. And we'll develop enough leaders. I I've, I've never worried about leadership. You know, if you got a good bunch of good players and you don't have anybody there that's a true leader, hell that's what you get paid for as a coach. Be a leader. The position coaches lead those guys. And so I'm, I'm not worried about the leadership aspect of it, but there, there are kids that are developing and, and taking over that role. And so uh, uh, it, all the good teams, most of the great or great teams are, are self-motivated and, and uh, self-policed. Last one for Coach. Do you foresee the, uh, the nose tackle competition going until that last week between, I mean, M Misi's been playing there mostly, but it seems like yeah. Lamont's right on his heels and you've got Zeus and a few other yeah. guys. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm really pleased, even with the young guys up front, um, is that uh, that'll be every week, you know, for the next 13 weeks, whoever practiced best and, and whoever's most productive in the game you know, we'll, we'll get the start the next week. Now, I don't believe in guys who play on games. And uh, you then you tell them we're going to start, like, uh, then they practice like crap. They're not going to start, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the competition, that'll make us a lot better. I mean, I believe in that because of the competition that, that we have, uh, have down inside. Uh,